What's up, y'all? Welcome to the channel. Okay, a few people have hit me up and asked me what's going on with the R350. Uh, like I was saying, the R350 needs a starter. The starter's going. Hold on, you got a truck going by. The R350 starter's bad. Okay, um, yeah, I know you get you get the haters that'll be like, oh, you can't afford to fix it. But, you know, let me show you something. Of course, the door's locked. Hold on. The start is right here. I actually have the part. See, I have a starter right here. So that's not an issue as far as getting the starter. My issue is really time. Um, because I, I'm always busy doing a whole bunch of things, I really don't be having time to do it. Also, the mechanic shop is not very close to here. So it's going to cost me about maybe two to three hundred dollars for a tow truck to get it to the mechanic to put it in. I already know how much it costs. The mechanic already told me how much he's going to charge me to install it. But the tow truck's about maybe two hundred dollars. Yeah, that's one of the issues with Atlanta. There's no good mechanics close by, especially ones that can fix Mercedes. So, mechanics that I trust to do it, the nearest one is in another part of town. Um, DC, DC um, Motor Works is too far. They're all the way in Kennesaw. So, that's like, at this point, is out of the question. So, I'm going to have to take it to my mechanic. Um, you know, the same guy who fixed the, who fixed the overheating issue in the Lexus. He's going to put the starter in, in here. So, I got to get it to him as soon as I got the time to do it. Um... Also, one thing I have to do, I'm probably going to take it to DC Motor Works to do this. As you can see, it has an oil leak. Now, figured out where the oil leak's coming from. It's leaking from the oil cooler. And it's pretty bad. Like, when I drove this truck down from New York, like, every couple hundred miles, I had to add, like, a quart and a half of oil. So, it, this thing leaks oil a lot, badly. You can see the mess that it made all over the engine. So... I gotta get the oil cooler fixed. You know, uh, other little minor things. It all. One thing I also notice is that it obviously has a leak somewhere in the AC lines because when I when I changed the batteries, you know, the AC went back to working and it wasn't blowing cold. So I put Freon in it, and the AC blew cold for like a day, then it started blowing hot again. I did it again, same thing. About a day or two, then it started blowing hot. It had no Freon in it. So somewhere. In the AC system, there's a leak, so I got to get that fixed also. Um, the one good thing about this truck when I bought it is this truck does not have Airmatic. I bought, I actually bought this truck from a, from a buddy that I grew up with. So, you know, I pretty much knew the issues I had with it. Um, but, like, about a year before I bought it, his rear struts, his air struts went out. So I told him, get, get on the... Um, Go to strut masters and order the conversion so the rear struts he converted to strut masters when he first bought the truck the front was already you know it didn't have aromatic odor already it had regular struts on it so i never had to worry about aromatic problems on this because it's already the whole truck's been converted i'm um, the front struts the ones that was on there because they've been there since he bought it those are kind of like worn so i'm probably gonna have to get some strut masters for the front to change though just to update them but besides that, everything is cool with the truck. You know, as you know, when I first bought it, it needed a rack and pinion. I got that done. Um, then I got one little minor issue. Of course, my son, Mr. Destructive himself, my um, automotive demolition expert. When I first got the truck, if y'all remember, remember I said the mirror was getting fixed? When I took the mirror to get fixed, I'm in the shop and my son's in the passenger seat and he kicked the AC vent off. So I got to get that repaired but that's minor that's really nothing then another thing that i just don't understand like and i told my buddy this thing was definitely maintained by apes whoever his mechanics were, were idiots and i'm still trying to figure out how did this happen whoever he had messing with this truck even he realized this they did something where it's like the steering column is crooked now i changed the rack and pinion and all that it drives well and everything but you see this the shifter this is not supposed to be up here look how low the turn signal is so it's like the whole steering column 
needs to be shifted a little to the right because this is too high, this is too low. So the steering column is crooked. The cruise control thing is where the, see the cruise control stalk is where the turn signal should be. This should be higher, the turn signal should be about here, and this should be like down here. So that's weird. Uh, so I, I don't know how they pull that off, but hey. That's what happens when you get idiot mechanics. But besides that, the truck pretty much runs well when it does run off. Oh, I got one little interior blemish. That's the only rip in the entire interior, as you can see. So the interior is pretty well. It's just a little dirty from being parked. But that's pretty much what's going on with the R350. And no, it's not going to start. I, I've i been sitting here trying to get that Hail Mary start out of it like it was doing before. Hoping that I it, it'll turn over and I can move it. Hurry up and move it and get it closer to where the mechanic shop is to save me some money on the tow truck. But uh, that's not happening. So that's what's going on with the R350. Stay tuned. More to come. Hopefully I had this fixed in the next few weeks have to start it done within the next maybe week or two hopefully if I don't got too much other stuff to do or if a whole bunch of things don't come up where I have to spend a bunch of money on stuff that I really didn't want to spend it on but this should be fixed soon stay tuned